What's good, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Community, another episode of Community Voices. We are being joined today by somebody who is about to make a huge impact in this football season this year. You would definitely hear about him. I'm I'm pretty positive of it. If you look at this track record of how he's been killing the league, um, how he's been killing it. Um, we're joined by somebody who like I said must watch for the NFL season. They're one of the I think they're one of the, he was one of the top 10 fastest receivers come out of the 2022 combine. So he has crazy speed. He's in a prime position, like I said, to make a huge impact with the New Orleans Saints this year. He's a wide receiver at number 12. Chris Olave, welcome to Community Voices, man. How you doing? Yes, uh, appreciate you having me, man. For real. I'm doing good. I'm doing real good, man. I'm enjoying it out here in New Orleans. Uh kind of new to the city, so I'm getting used to it. I enjoy it. I enjoy it out here. And uh I can I can tell I'm gonna have fun out here for the next few years. I love it. I love it. I've been to New Orleans a good handful of times. I definitely it's, it's different, but I love it. It's a good time. It's a good time. Oh yeah, for sure. Dope. Well, let me get into it. So, you know, I know you've been asked a million times, you know, what it's felt like, what does it feel like to be in the NFL and finally meet that dream? Um, but with the season approaching, you know, I know there's a, a different kind of mindset. You've done the work, you've been training, you've been working with the chemistry with your teammates, things like that. What is, can you kind of exp- explain your mindset going into like how you're feeling uh, about going into this season and this being your first year? Kind of where's your head at going into the season with it coming up so close? Uh, she's. Well, it's been a long off season, man. The rookie year is the longest one. Uh, that's what I heard from a lot of guys. So uh, we didn't really get an off season. We didn't really get no break. Uh, straight from combine training, uh, straight to pro day, straight to rookie camp, and now to training camp. So it's been a long off season. Uh, just trying to get my body right. Uh, my body kind of sore uh, through our camp, but uh, just trying to fight through it and build that mental toughness. But I got a lot of expectations this year uh, for the team, and uh, I can't wait to to add my ability uh, to this offense. And uh, with Travis Landry, Michael Thomas, uh, Alvin Kamara, Mike Mark Ingram, uh, Jameis, it's gonna be I feel like it's gonna be explosive offense, and just trying to play my role and uh, add my best self to this offense it's gonna be huge. Most definitely, I, I can I I can just tell there's a lot of energy around it, and I just think that it's just really gonna be like I said, it's gonna be an exciting lot to watch, especially with the Saints just kind of where they're growing to and like how they're kind of setting their new path and trail. And I think it's going to be really fun to watch. And like I said, I, you being your rookie year, all that energy you have as a rookie, I know you, you, know, you said everything's been taking a toll on you, but I can just see it being a really exciting season for you. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to kind of seeing what's coming up. Now, growing up, you grew up in California, uh, I think San Diego to be exact, correct? Oh, yeah, San Diego, yeah. San Diego to be exact. So you went from California to setting freaking high, uh, college records. You know, I think you're the – most career touchdowns, receptions uh, at Ohio State. So California, mm-hmm. Ohio State. Now we're starting in New Orleans. All this change, and there's a lot of culture change, weather change, a bunch of changes within all those areas. Can you kind of explain to me how you kind of learned to adjust to all this, like, location changing and these new home adjustments? Man, it's been tough, man. Uh, I didn't really know this would be my life, but God blessed me with this, with this life and this platform, so. Uh, all I could do was adjust. So I went to Ohio at 17 years old, away from my family, uh, just really solo. And uh, I kinda, it kind of turned me from a boy to a man and uh, taught me a lot of things on and off the field. And I made, made a lot of great relationships. And I fought through adversity uh, to be able to be in this position today and to be able to enter the NFL draft and uh, get drafted in the first round to New Orleans. Uh, that was huge uh, for myself and it was a huge blessing from God. So. Uh, just like I said, just fighting through the adversity, uh, switching locations, uh, being on my own at a young age and uh, just having this platform at a young age. Uh, I feel like I was built for this. So uh, just being able to have that platform from God and uh, being out here in New Orleans uh, in a new location. Uh, I feel like I'm a freshman again in college, <laughs> uh, but being a rookie, is, it's going to be fun. I got a, I know a, lot, a lot of people from Ohio State that, that's on New Orleans and uh, they kind of show me the way, so it's it's definitely a blessing. I love it. Yeah, it's definitely. I can I can definitely see how it could be so challenging, but like I said, it helps you grow up quick. It's definitely a blessing, and you know, I think um, with these challenges comes those lessons to grow and be better and stuff like that. I think you've been clearly showing that you can take care of those challenges and and, and nail them. So that's just inspire. Now yeah, another sure. 
looking, I keep mentioning the rookie year. I know it's, this is a really big thing. Almost like it's, this will almost be like your last time being a freshman or rookie because this is, you know, I'm saying the pinnacle of it. So going into it, I know you said there's a lot of things to accomplish, a lot of goals that you have for yourself. Can you kind of explain to me kind of what do you have any goals for yourself from like an individual perspective, like what you want to accomplish for yourself? I know a lot of it's about, you know, what you want to do to the team and bring to the team. But like, what do you kind of, um, what expectation are you holding up for yourself uh, individually heading into the season? Uh, as far as individual stuff, I don't really focus on accolades or stats or none of that. Uh, it's just bringing my best self, my best self to the team every day. Uh, I feel like that's a challenge for rookies. Uh, you kind of hit that rookie wall, but uh, I kind of try to get over that and fight that mental, uh, try to bring my best self. And, uh, I know when I'm at, when I'm my best self, I definitely uh, could be one of the best in the NFL. So uh, just bringing that energy and bringing that, that mentality uh, to the field, to, to the field play by play. Uh, just bringing that and uh, uplifting uh, my teammates. I feel like that would help a lot. So uh, just bringing that mindset and uh, that energy, like I said, uh, I feel like that will make everybody around me better. And I feel like that's what I bring to the team. I love it for sure. Yeah, I know. I know it could be like that, you know, I know a lot of it with football, it's so many moving parts that make the whole machine work. So you definitely have a good point. Like, you know, the the – no individual goals, but the goal is how good can you make the team? How much of an impact can you have? So I, I definitely relate exactly. to that. Yeah. Now, we talked about, you know, all the work that's coming up in this season and your rookie year and things like that. But, you know, you also do a lot of work off the field. Um, you know, you have your, I know your family has their own foundation, the Olave Foundation, which we will be mm. donating 10K to, to continue seeing it thrive and grow and prosper and uh, have an impact. So for those who kind of aren't familiar, would you mind kind of uh, filling people in on um, what the Olave Family Foundation is and kind of the mission? Uh, yeah, we built a we built a foundation uh, kind of around like the community. Uh, it's like a vision and aspiration to help the inner city youth uh, achieve what achieve what I did uh, in my in my in my uh, in my life. Uh, I always was raised by a family to give back and uh, just have it spread love and spread energy. Uh, around the world that's what this life is all about so uh, I just want to be able to build a foundation and be able to give back to the kids and uh, kids that don't come from much and uh, kids that have a, a difficult time growing up and uh, I feel like that that, that helped me a lot and uh, they have somebody to look up to and have a role model in their life and I want to be able to be that image and that person uh, and that, that, that gives back and, and just uh, sets a good example in the community. Most definitely. I love that. Like you mentioned earlier, you know, God put you in a certain place to, to do all these things. So I think it's really important to, you know, all this blessing you receive, you know, I think we get these blessings to also give them back. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So kind of keeping that, that, that cycle going. So I, I love that. Now, my mm -hmm. last question before we get ready to wrap things up for this episode, earlier I mentioned you go, you know, you've been going state to state. You got a good solid home right now in New Orleans. But, you know, even though you move around, home is always home. Can you kind of speak to how important it is and like why it well why it's so important for you to kind of have an impact on your hometown? Uh that's always number one, man, the hometown. You know that. Uh just being raised, being uh raised there my whole life, uh from from zero to eighteen years old. Uh I feel like that's always uh, gonna be in my blood and that's always gonna be my hometown. So uh shout out six one nine, shout out San Diego. Uh, I'm gonna be back giving back so uh, God bless I love it I love it well look man thank you for pulling up and you know sharing some time I know you're busy rookies be moving around getting ready so I know you're super busy and I appreciate you cutting out some time to hop on this episode of Community Voices um I really appreciate it, man. I'm really looking forward to this NFL season. I know it's about to be crazy. I'm, I'm keeping a, a special eye on the Saints this year, for sure, for sure. Oh, yeah. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate you. Appreciate you for having me, man. God bless. Of course, man. Until next time, y'all take care. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Yes, sir. Uh...